Yeah, it was really an incredible turnout. So many people coming out. And while many people remember Senator Hatch and his political achievements, most say that they are remembering him for the way he made them feel every time they were around him. Later, he said, I had friends who were quite different than me, so I discovered the value of finding common ground. Growing up as the only Latter-day Saints member in his class, Brent Orrin Hatch says his father knew what it was like to be an outsider. But he managed to connect with virtually everyone he met, even performing in a band called Sons of Messiah. Luckily for all of us, the lack of the band's success did not disrail his career in law and politics. <laughs> But Hatch still held on to his love of music. The music selection at his service featuring two songs he wrote. With his grandchildren singing. And his writing didn't stop there. He'd compose heartfelt thank yous to constituents, to staff, to strangers. He'd even break out the stationery to thank Utah Jazz players for a big win. When I was in high school, I had a poster of Carl Malone and his Utah Jazz jersey up on my wall. I also had a picture of me with Orrin Hatch. Many finding a connection to him through his sense of humor. Our president pro tem announced that he had taken a DNA test. He was part dinosaur. <laughs> and his heart. As he treated everybody as if they were a U.S. Senator or colleague. It didn't matter who you were. He, he treated you. He elevated you. He cared deeply about those, especially those at the margins. But many say what Hatch was most proud of had nothing to do with politics. He always told everyone how great his, his children were. Uh, to me, it was always greatly embarrassing. A father to six, a grandfather and great-grandfather to even more. I love you, Dad. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Another thing that a lot of people brought up is that Senator Hatch didn't look down on anyone and more likely than not would share a hot dog with a complete stranger and then talk to them for an hour. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Courtney Johns, ABC4 News.